student today my topic is electrophoresis due to the presence of a particular type of electrical charge the colloidal particle in the colloidal dispersion move towards the particular electrode under the influence of electric field suppose uh, these are the two electrode in uh, influence of this electric field one is positive charge and another is negative charge so uh, it is uh, under of uh, under electric field the direction of movement of colloidal particle is decided by the nature of the charge if the uh, nature of the charge is uh, positive then it moves to the negative charge and it's, if if the nature of the charge is negative then it moves to the positive side so <coughs> excuse me so the direction of movement of the colloidal particle is decided by the nature of charge present in them if the colloidal particle carries positive charge they move to the towards the cathode that is negative charge and the colloidal particle carry negative charge then they move to the anode uh, which is positive charge when the electric field is subjected uh, to around them so this phenomena is known as electrophoresis or we can define it the movement of colloidal particle towards the particular electrode under the influence of electric field is called electrophoresis this is after the electrophoresis all the uh, negative charge accumulate on this electrode this is the before the electrophoresis no charge is there but uh, after the applying we we have negative charge accumulated on the positive charge or positive electrode now next is electro osmosis the colloidal solution is placed between two partition made by the semi permeable membrane the outer compartment consists of platinum electrode and side tube are filled with water so like this this is the sol or a colloidal particle this is the water level uh, this is the original level which is the downward because all the ions or the water or the dispersion medium shift here so here the level is upward direction here the level is lower direction and this is the platinum wire or platinum electrode this is the anode and this is the cathode so on the pa passing the electric current water level begins to rise in one side and falls to another side we have already seen that colloidal particle and dispersion medium carried charges both have charges which are equal but opposite in nature colloidal particle also have two charge two types of charge positive and negative and dispersion medium have also a two type of charge as we studied earlier so under the influence of electric field both have a tendency to move towards the opposite charges electrode semi permeable membrane do not allow the passage of colloidal particle however dispersion medium can pass through them therefore during electro for osmosis colloidal particle are checked and it is the dispersion medium that moves towards the opposite charge electrode now my question is for today what is electrophoresis and what is electroosmosis thank